WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Welcome to the morning show here on 90.7 FM WVUA, the capstone. This is Ginger, and I'm joined by Francesca. Hi, Francesca. Hi. And our station manager, Noah, is here also. Yeah, just uh, sitting in a little bit, uh, but um, I, I feel like a big, big thing is we're, we're, Francesca is going to be our regular Monday morning Woo. show host in, a, in addition to Ginger. Uh, so you'll you'll be hearing me on Wednesdays more than on, on Mondays now from now on. Yes, so fun. Uh, It was game day on Saturday. We did pretty great. I'm sure we're going to talk about that more in our show, but I just have a little story from game day. So I work at the TV station here on campus, and it's run out of the stadium. And I had a shift on Saturday. And, of course, when there's a game day at home, you know, there's a lot of security and everything. Um, So the station is run out of the stadium, like I said, and there was a police officer posted outside my door because they didn't want people to be able to get into the stadium that weren't supposed to be there. And when I have a shift on a game day, a Saturday or a Friday, I have to uh, take my little lanyard (laughs) and I have a special little sticker and everything so they know it's not fake. So I roll up to the station and I walk up and I realize, oh crap, my lanyard's in my backpack. So I have to take off my backpack and I dig through and I've got this police officer watching me (laughs) and I was so nervous because I think I just everybody gets nervous around Mm. police officers you know and so it felt like it took forever for me to find it you know how that feels when somebody's watching you do something and you just can't find it or you can't do it so I finally find it I show it to him it's all good then I go to scan my action card to get in the door and it doesn't work the door, <laughs> the door will not get open, and he's still standing there watching me, and I'm just so embarrassed. I try it probably four or five times before I'm finally like, okay, I've got to call the newsroom, and I've got to have somebody come down here, and it's gonna, it just looks so suspicious. Yeah. I hate looking suspicious. I'm a good girl, <laughs> I promise. Um, but yeah, so, yeah. so finally somebody came. Yeah, I know. That was I did ambassadors last year and uh theoretically we were supposed to have access like to the, the mm-hmm. digital media center, but it was always like half and half. Like sometimes it'd work and sometimes it wouldn't. And then it'd be like, Oh well, tour group, we're going to wait here for a minute. Can I answer any questions? <laughs> oh well. So funny. All right, we're gonna get back to some music here on the morning show. We'll talk to y'all in a minute. WVUA FM, Tuscaloosa. Hey guys, it's Francesca with 90.7. And this morning, obviously the Crimson White came out. And something that really caught my eye as like a huge theater nerd and a fan of like comedy type drama, like theater stuff, was they were promoting um, the theater and dance department's Mm -hmm. play called the Gloria. And I just thought it was very interesting because they have this line that says, it's one of those shows where you laugh at something because you can't do anything else but laugh at all. And that literally like intrigued me because I was like, okay, this is office vibes. And like, I have like the most awkward humor. Like it's remind me of like <laughs> when you're just like, cause it's about like um, people interacting in an office. And I'm yeah. like, okay, like this is so my vibe. Like I love like critiques on that. And also I want to talk about it because we go to such a big sports school but also like our theater and arts are such an important part of like culture and society Mm -hmm. and our school that I think it's important to like go to things like the Crimson White and like just like look at like the theater offerings and stuff and like the arts you know what I mean because like obviously football in itself is an art like Mm -hmm. you go to these game days you dress up you listen to music but like things like theater and like comedy is just I think so important so I just wanted to like talk about that yeah Yeah. and didn't we just get a new theater building or one's being built right now yeah it's like in the old Bryce Asylum or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, I, I've been. In, they, it's it's somewhat new. They they do a lot of their opera stuff there. Ooh, so I've, I've gone I didn't know we did opera mm-hmm. here. So they've got, yeah, they've got some opera things. So I went and saw one of their. Uh, we had a uh, um, a composer who had um, who had written an opera. He came and we were performing it, and he came and like talked to the, uh, some of the music students and then he mm-hmm. sat in on the performance of his opera and everything so that was Ooh, pretty cool every time wow. i drive by i'm like they need to put on a halloween show because it's like <laughs> supposedly haunted right or like the old it building looks like, like it. it i know i'm it's like they need to theater. like have like all the theater people like do like a haunted house but it's a dramatic mm-hmm. haunted house so like it's like opera stuff I'm like ah! like screaming oh. ghosts and stuff like how <laughs> sick would that be that that's so fun <laughs> 
<laughs> well, for more news, you can head on over to thecrimsonwhite.com. Back to some music. WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. the voice of the University of Alabama. This is Ginger, and I'm here with Francesca. Good morning, Francesca. Hey. Hi. Let's talk about our weather for the week. It is going to be a beautiful day today with a high of 90 and a low of 65. No worries about precipitation today. Tomorrow and Wednesday, though, are going to be searing hot. And since this little cool down that we've had, I am not here for this. What about you? I'm not excited. I'm excited, but I'm not excited because... (laughs) I'm from Ohio, so I'm used to, like, snow and rain. Oh, wow. So I'm, like, I don't know. Like, if I can get to the pool, I'll be pretty happy. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? But these are going to be some great pool days. Yeah. We're gonna have, yeah, we're going to have highs of 95 and 97 on oh, Tuesday wow. and Wednesday. Yeah. And then the rest of the week will be a little bit cooler, just like it is today, around a high of 90 degrees. No precip predicted for the whole rest of the week, so don't have to worry about that umbrella. That's at least not true. Because <laughs> this is Tuscaloosa. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You might have a little pocket umbrella just in case. You really never know around here. Oh, yeah. But whether the weather is good or bad, we always have something to make you glad. And I found the cutest story. Um, this lady named Erica Hart in the UK has saved over 200 dogs using her drone. She will find lost dogs using her drone. Over 200 lost dogs. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Let me find some more info about this. So she's 33 um, and she just uses her drone to find dogs and she'll post them on her Facebook page and I guess she's probably gotten a pretty big following. Over 200 Mm -hmm. dogs that she's rescued. I just thought that was great. So go out there and be a community hero today whether that is using your drone to find lost dogs or picking up some litter in your neighborhood. Just everybody can be a community hero. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> well, let's get back to some music here on the morning show. WVUA FM, Tuscaloosa. Ahoy, mateys, and welcome back to the morning show. Uh, if you aren't aware, this is 90.7 The Capstone, and it's talk like a pirate day. Uh, good morning, Ginger, and good morning, Francesca. <laughs> If I knew a good pirate phrase, I would be in pirate mode right now. I'm so sorry. Let me look up some good pirate phrases <laughs> while y'all are talking. I so just fun. feel like it would be embarrassing for me to even try. Like, I'd be like, ahoy! <laughs> Something like that. You know, no, we, you just gotta go for it. Oh, yeah, you just gotta sound <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we've gotta get our pirates, our little eye patches ready. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. No, I'm wearing I'm wearing my pirate shirt because I knew what today was, yes. uh, um, and so I uh. am I am I'm sporting that I'm gonna be sporting it all day. So if you see me around campus, you can you can come up to me and you can give me a little oi, matey. You should talk like a pirate like all day, like when you're in your classes or whatever. Just go up to your pro- professor and be like, ahoy, matey. <laughs> well, 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 give me an A or else you walk the plank. Give me an A or else you'll walk the plank. <laughs> no, but um, uh, it's. So I was looking at, um, not only is it National Popular Pirate Day, there's also like a couple like cat things going on today. So it's Ooh, also no. National Meow Like a Pirate Day. So <laughs> we all got to give our best best pirate meows. Meow. 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 So <laughs> I'm looking up the history right now of Talk Like a Pirate Day. It looks like it was just started by two random dudes in Oregon. Yes. How did they make this popular? Like that's what I want to know. know. Because it is of the of the national hall of like yeah. fake national holidays. It is one of the like the more popular, popular ones. Really? Yeah. Like I mean, I, I just like it's like one of those ones that they like do in school. Yeah. Like yeah. That's so fun. I feel like people our age, our frame of reference for pirates is SpongeBob pretty much exclusive yes. i suppose yes. that is true yes so, so oh but um my my younger brothers and everything they watch this show jake and the neverland pirates i don't know if you've oh, seen the show yeah. it's like this like, Disney show and this show is is like revisionist history it's like yeah pirates are just around like learning education and helping people out i'm like that is not that is not what it was oh, no 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 so um pirates so, yeah technically still real really well. yeah because yeah. definition of a pirate i'm pretty sure is when you go into uncharted waters so like let's say you're like in the u.s coast guard and you go to like the 
West in is West Indian even sea? Like you know what I mean? Like another sea? They'd be considered pirates. Okay, yeah. And so, I guess fun there, fact. there was that Captain Phillips movie that was like came out several years ago. That's mm-hmm. like those are like pirates these days. Yep. So or pirates like, are outer still yeah. stuff like that. Yes, mm-hmm. so fun. Well, so, yeah, you can still go enjoying the pirates if you want to. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I don't know if they still talk like that though. But yeah. You know, you can talk about it. Ah, they should <laughs> get into the vibe. Yeah, it, it really adds to the effect. But uh, talk to all of your friends like a pirate today. Freak everybody out. Nobody will talk to you. But it'll be fun. If they're in on the joke, it'll be fun. We're going to get back to some music here on the morning show. WVUA FM, Tuscaloosa. and welcome back to the morning show that was kind of an odd start he was giving a funeral it at a church was. oh my gosh um so i just put that song in because you're we running a little bit late and it was a really short song obviously but i am <laughs> glad to that it. that was kind of odd anyway so um just wanted to tell you all about a few events that we have going on campus this week Today at noon, there is a career fair crash course. It's a virtual little meeting, and it's all about, um, you know, what to wear to a career fair, how to introduce yourself, and steps for successfully following up with recruiters and that kind of thing, which is going to be the perfect preparation for a career fair later this week on Wednesday at Coleman Coliseum. It's a general interest fair from 10 to 3, all major program. So this is a great avenue to secure a job or an internship, and there's representatives from various industries. So super fun. Um, I have been, I think, to one career fair. Have you been to one yet? I haven't, but I have a lot of friends that have like gone internships and stuff mm-hmm. from there. So. Yeah. So yeah, internships. I've done internships, and they're always just such a great thing. So if you are interested in an internship in a particular industry, this might be the place for you. I also wanted to touch on uh, Queen Elizabeth's funeral is today, and I don't have a lot of information about what that's going to be like. I think it was supposed to be really early this morning. It's also supposed to be like a 10-day, like, I don't know, like, what they're doing for 10 days, but it's a 10-day, like, morning celebration. Well, that's been, like, this whole past week. Oh. (laughs) And so today is the last day of Mm -hmm. that, because they're actually going to be burying her, but... Um, I follow some royal watchers on TikTok, and they were talking about she's going to be lowered into this vault where they keep yeah. a lot of the deceased royals, and then I think her and Philip are going to be moved to a different place mm-hmm. within, I think it's St. George's Chapel. Yeah. So they're going to have their own place together mm-hmm. in the chapel, and I think that that might be, um, you know, not open to the public, mm-hmm. but a little bit more visible than, like, the vault is. Yeah. So I think that'll be nice. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a very big royal fan. I'm a royal watcher. And so this has just been a very sad <laughs> time period. I found out about this in class. I was like listening to the BBC live feed on my phone mm-hmm. in the middle of class. And they came on to announce and they showed the flag lowering at Buckingham Palace. And I like cried in the middle of class. It was yeah. so embarrassing. This might be kind of morbid, but I'm really like, not like excited, but I'm really interested to see who's like, there like who actually got invited because i know like with queen elizabeth like i was like she was friends with a lot of like american cowboys and there's obviously like the commonwealth so it's going to be interesting to see who was she actually close with because i know like it's different now than it was back in the day Mm -hmm. where like we're actually going to like see who she who she was close with you know what i mean so i'm interested to see who all turns up because like when prince philip died it was covid so Mm -hmm. you know the queen was very isolated during that time Mm -hmm. period and now she's gone but i think that Mm -hmm. everybody's really turning it out as you know covid is a little bit less of a part and she's been you know ruling for so long Mm -hmm. and she's gone through like so many like wars and major events like i'm like that is actually like insane like sis has lived a life like yeah yeah, it's crazy yes she ruled from 1952 to 2022 she also even imagine in her early 20s like she was probably a little bit older than us yeah she was just a tad older than us and she um i know that she found out that her father had died and she ascended to the throne mm-hmm. while she was like on her honeymoon and with Philip. She had like a baby a year later, like yeah. her first child. Yeah. Like so crazy, <laughs> y'all. What a life. Oh, <laughs> what a girl boss. <laughs> yes, it's, it's crazy. So we'll have to see how Charles turns out. I think that'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. 
But now back to some music on The Morning Show, and y'all can hop over to our Instagram at WVU. WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Hey guys, it's Francesca and Ginger at 93.7. I hope you guys are doing well. Ginger, how are you? I am lovely. Welcome back to the morning show, everyone. So, are you ready for some good weather? I am. We have a high of 91 and a low of 65. Mm -hmm. So, not too too bad for Tuscaloosa and this week looks like it looks like it's gonna be pretty sunny and I hope it stays that way because yeah but we're gonna get into the high of the 90s on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday so wear your sunblock <laughs> drink some water because yeah. it's gonna be a scorcher yeah. um so also Tuscaloosa they just opened up a new park on the river like the river walk and yeah. I'm like excited for it because I was like reading into it and it's more of like an adult park if that makes sense where like mm-hmm. there's a lot of like cool sculptures and places to like host educational and recreational opportunity and so i'm really really excited to see this in tuscaloosa just for like community outreach and i think it's something that tuscaloosa needs and it's going to be by the amphitheater That's and so fun. also they took like an old landfill and like a grassy area and they decided to clean it up so they i guess beautified the community so. I'm, I, I just think it's awesome to take something that like, maybe was a little bit dirty and gross and <laughs> undesirable, you know, yeah. and it can take good out of it, so yeah, I'm excited to get pictures right now, and that'll be great. Yeah, it's like kind of like under an old bridge or whatever, yeah. so I'm going to be excited. I don't know if I'm going to study or exercise or anything you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, fun. WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Hey guys, it's Francesca and Ginger again. Hello everyone. So I don't know about you, but I had the most boring weekend um, <laughs> studying for exams. Um, yeah, but when I did go out and do stuff, it was obviously parents weekend and it was the most bizarre thing. Like, I swear, it was like spring break like college kids going to like spring break but it was parents visiting their kids in school <laughs> and, and i don't know done that. i know yeah. <laughs> i don't know if they're on like bar school or bama chicks or mm-hmm. any of those things but they were like posting like, like the wildest videos mm-hmm. of like parents just going absolutely crazy and i'm like they are so much harder than like i'm mean, having so much more fun than i think like the most like just here for good time college mm-hmm. students but like, i was like this is insane. Like, I've never seen anything like this. And I was, like, walking down the strip yesterday with my friends, and you see all these parents, like, doing, like, the strut, and, like, the dad's dressing like, frat boys. And I'm like, y'all need to go home and go back to your Italian jobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I hope that I'm fun like that when I get older. Oh, me too. Yeah. Look. Also, today is Respect Your Elders Day, actually. Mm. So y'all better be out there respecting your elders on TikTok <laughs> and beyond. Yes. <laughs> Help her with some groceries. <laughs> or in my case, like show your respect to the senior. That was all for In my mind, they're elders. <laughs> so call your parents today. We're gonna get back to some music. WVUA FM, Tuscaloosa. very suspicious this morning. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I've been running around because uh, it's time to celebrate today. Yes. I think every day is worth celebrating mm-hmm. in its own special way. Okay. Um, and so earlier we talked about um, how it was like Pirate Day mm-hmm. and Talk about the Pirate Day and uh, Pat talked talk about the Pirate Day, but I was looking at some of the other days that today happens to be. And it's um, National Pat DNA Day. Mm-hmm. Um, so some group called Base Cause uh, created this unique day to raise awareness about the benefits of human genetics. We're really just celebrating uh, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, uh, 
uh, as far as feline genetics go, I was like, I was like, we've all got a little cat in us. So <laughs> what I did is I recorded uh, all of all three of us giving our best meows, mm -hmm. and then I uh, <laughs> combined it with the earlier part of uh, Talk of the Pirate Day, and so I created this little song called Cat Pirate, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, <laughs> for, for which we will debut to you now. So uh, Ginger, if you'll give that a little spin. Listen to me around the cats. Put the cats down. Get them out. They're looking to get WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Hey guys, it's 900.7 with Francesca Ginger and Noah. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a, a sick new song for you by Little Sun and it's called Drummer. And according to Alice, um, and the person that does the playlist, it's a really funky pop and the vocalist has a nice raspy, sultry voice, which I'm very really excited to hear because two kind of different vibes. And it's giving like seven. Yeah, I'm excited for it. That's so. fun. Yeah. And that is all for our morning show after this delightful song. Noah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the little camp hat song. Uh, and so, yeah, and uh, we've, we've been getting our Instagram post ready so you can see all the some fun highlights from the show today up on Instagram. WVUAFM is our Instagram. We need to put that song on spot. Mm, <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, that would be a great TikTok. You can also catch it, we'll throw it up on the, uh, we, we can do in the morning show highlights on our uh, podcast network, voices.ua.edu, so you can, uh, I'm sure, that's the highlights from today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll make the highlight real. You can check that out uh, tomorrow or the next day to see that up there. Um, but, yeah. I, I'm super excited for the Monday morning show. I think uh, I, I'm, I'm going to retreat back to Wednesday, so you can hear me again on Wednesday. But uh, when we're going to have Dean Butler on the show. What? Uh, That's awesome. So, yes, we're going to have a guest in studio. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, have a good morning, everyone. Yes, thank y'all. And this is Drummer by Sun Little. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. WVUA-FM, Tuscaloosa.